Hey Taurus, welcome to your tarot reading. This is going to be a Mercury Retrograde check-in. We are going to take a look at how Mercury Retrograde will be or can be influencing you. We are in that time period. It started on April 21st. It goes until May 14th, although the shadow period will last until around the 1st of June. So do your research. I'm not an astrologer, but we will pull some energy. If it helps you, please leave your feedback below. It helps me tremendously. As a reader, it also helps others find the channel and receive the message, okay? So like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good junk, okay? Let's see just some general energy of what Spirit wants to say about this time period for you, my Taurus little babies. Queen of Cups, who's mad at that? Not I. Four of Wands in the reverse, Nine of Cups in the reverse. This is wearing my heart on my sleeve energy after a lot of disappointment in the past it's still being in love with old manifestations or again a person from the past emperor energy aries okay some of you may have an ex popping back for sure some of you could be missing someone like you might be the i just heard the aggressor okay are you aggressive, Taurus? Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, the Nine of Wands. I don't know if it's aggressive or just so much as it's hard to let this situation go or what this hope was, what this dream was, what it was supposed to be. Okay, this is home energy, relationship energy. So you could be surrendering an old past pattern regarding relationships, Who again, who you were with, where you were living. There's something about that, like a home within yourself or some of you may have felt like you made a home in another person. Yeah, I'm getting, look at this. I'm seeing the Empress, Six of Cups, the Lovers. Some of you have a family of this person. But for some reason, there can never be, yeah, a breakthrough. Somebody always holds back. Okay. I'm going to take a quick look. Temperance energy, Sagittarius energy with the Four of Swords. This is major healing. It's the major arcana of healing and the minor arcana of healing. Taking a break. Time out. This is all divinely guided. Your soul needs it. Peace. Restore. Yeah, I'm getting vitality. Transmuting the darkness or the pain. Some of you could be going through a dark night of the soul. Okay. Well, let's take a look at what spirit is going to say is cool can't speak happy market retrograde good okay for you in this time period what is going to be heavy and then we'll do a general energy check-in okay what is going to come out of this time frame what is the payoff here sport spirit the communication man it's not there for me are you guys experiencing communication issues Yeah, I wanted to come back out. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. The Two of Wands in the reverse. The Ten of Swords in the reverse. So things are going to change. That's the good news. You're going to have a new way to go about something. A new routine. Some of you might be getting a whole other job. You may be also... I'm getting like inviting spirituality into your life more. Meditation practices... Something about, like, I don't know, your morning routine changes. There's some self-care here. Queen of Swords and Inverse the Magician. I think you're also going to realize that you have more control than you give yourself credit for. As far as where your energy goes, right? Who you share that with. Who you talk to. The words you say. Something about affirmations. Yeah, judgment in the reverse. I'm just getting the good part is a lot of you learn what you need to change to not repeat past patterns and to truly release something. It is all minor arcana. So it's up to you to pick up the pace here. Okay, let's look at what the energy is for the heavy side, shall we? Just the devil. It's acting like a big deal. Capricorn energy. The Wheel of Fortune, wow. The Five of Pentacles. Yeah, you're working through, first thing that came up, honestly, was trauma response, okay? Your own blocks, your own self-destruction, wearing your wounds as your identity. You're 
no longer walking around unconscious, right? We're awakening. This is conscious living here. This is the sacred wound. Remember we saw it. I'm hearing death of the ego, but that's not what it was. It was dark night of the soul, but maybe for a lot of you that led to ego death. That same queen of cups that was coming out earlier when I did um, a few card pulls at the beginning of the reading is underneath the strength. You need to connect with your heart space again. Tell me about this devil, please. What is this? The, yeah, it's the words you tell yourself or what you believe, okay? Possibly seeking someone to save you or for someone's approval. Possibly burning yourself out. Yeah, like you're in your own way for what it is that you want to create. For a lot of you, I'm getting it's not even just love. It's your career, but you need to take care of yourself. This could be as easy as like, you know, getting on a healthy sleep schedule. But you're so burnt out, it's hard to be excited. Again, I'm getting the words you speak. Really pay attention to that, okay? How you talk about yourself, others. Temperance in the reverse, Sagittarius energy, Six of Swords. Yeah, you need to leave behind anything that's not healthy for you. Some of you may be hanging out with people that are keeping you on a lower vibration. Wheel of Fortune. Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Cups in the reverse. The days of you and... There's nothing wrong with wanting nice things, Taurus, okay? Venus is your ruling planet, right? You love the luxury. You love to be comfortable. There's nothing wrong with that. But it can't be what your heart is made out of. You need that connection to self, to spirit, to God. Emperor energy, yeah. A lot of you are struggling to get in touch with your masculine energy, regardless, your gender. Or there's this old, outdated belief of what a healthy masculine is. And that might be what needs to change. Okay. Mm-hmm. What you're seeking, yeah. All right, let's get an energy pull on you, my loves. What the heck? I love how the angel and the devil card came out, though. Let's do a mini general energy check-in for you on this time, please. April 21st to May 14th. Wow, there you are. Coming out real strong, huh? The Hierophant. That's you. In the past, King of Wands in the reverse. Currently, Page of Swords in the reverse. Surrounding you, Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Going forward, Knight of Cups. Three of Cups on the bottom, Three of Wands in the reverse on the bottom, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse on the bottom. Some of you may have had an unfaithful partner or you were unfaithful, okay? And that kind of, I'm getting like stopped you dead in your tracks. All of a sudden you didn't know what you wanted anymore. Spirit is also talking about allowing yourself to receive support to move through this time. You don't have to go at it alone. But what you do need is to know what your morals are and what support is healthy. I did see earlier some of you were hanging out with people that weren't able to help elevate you. Okay. The Hierophant, please. The Tower in the Reverse, Scorpio Energy. The Two of Pentacles. The Ace of Wands. Yeah. It's ego versus soul. You have to mend those together. The ego serves a purpose, but it cannot be what is running your subconscious. That will continue to leave to will continue to lead to self-destruction. We have all these ideas, all these 
connections, like goals, callings even, but we're not able to attain anything or to get going on our purpose because we live very um, like spur of the moment or almost like uh, the grass is greener energy. Like we can abandon ourselves because we think, oh, there's my happiness. Let me go find that. That'll make me comfortable now. This will make me happy now. It's never about the long term. Okay. Ace of Swords. There's some clarity you need. The Sun in the Reverse, Leo Energy. The Tower again. Twice. I'm getting some of you have seen this. I heard breakup or release, okay? Either moving away from the career, a marriage, a partner for a long time. Like I'm getting a long time coming. Spirit is saying that we've already shown this to you. And I'm hearing ample opportunity to do the right thing. Mm. Yeah, to show you that this isn't even what you wanted anymore. Interesting I said anymore, right? This could be an old manifestation that you've grown. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you've become more independent or you started thinking for yourself. It wasn't about another person. Some of you were living for another, so you were planning your life through the eyes of another or through the desires of another to be accommodating or because you weren't really connected and you were just trying to feel good in the moment. Show me the past as King of Wands in the reverse, please, for Taurus. Knight of Cups in the reverse. Knight of Pentacles. You took forever to surrender. That It looks like, for some of you, it is a job, but for a lot of you, it's a relationship. And it's like you held on and you held on. Not wanting to release something. Hoping something or someone would give to you. This is definitely chasing energy. Like you waited on someone a really long time. I don't know if it's the same relationship or if spirit is reminding you of past patterns. Temperance in the reverse. Could have been nailing with the Sagittarius or have that in your chart. Spirit's calling this. This is a long-term problem. A long-term wound. It's not that you just do this with one person. Maybe it's your fixed signness, but you don't give up easy, you know, especially on the people in your life. But I'm getting like a lot of you are going to like just consider who you hang out with, who's good for you, who makes you feel good about yourself. This is like an outcast energy and we just like hung around waiting to be accepted. Or looking for validation. Taurus. Let's look at this current energy. Page of Swords in the reverse. Six of Swords. There you're like, I'm out. Ten of Pentacles. Nine of Cups in the reverse. You're taking your attention and leaving. You're like, I'm not dealing with this anymore. I have to do what's best for me. There's a lot of disappointment though. You really did. Yeah, I'm getting like some of you really thought this was going to be the end all be all. Some of you could be moving. I'm like disappointed after a trip. The Hermit, Virgo energy. Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, I'm giving too much when I need to do my own thing. I need to listen to the wisdom of my soul. I did talk about Dark Knight of the Soul. It's like, I don't want to repeat that. So what did you learn during that time period? I'm just getting you have to go at something alone. Like, you can't have what you thought you wanted. It's not what you... It was an old manifestation, an old version of you. Now that you've grown, now that you've learned things differently. This is about getting firmly rooted. I just started offering... Like, it's not even up on my website yet, but it will be. This, the Ten Commandments reading. Okay, I did it for myself. The Ten Commandments of Elissa. It's beautiful. 
I did it for two other people and they really enjoyed it as well. It's just a reminder of what your morals and your values are. And for those of you that are used to my readings, we go deep here, right? We look at our shadow work. This is very light. <laughs> this is not um, sitting in the heaviness. This is giving you a reminder of what seeds are planted within your soul that you came here. Okay. Regardless of whether you do it through a tarot reading, I highly consider, uh, recommend you guys consider asking yourselves, what are my morals? What are my values? What's my handbook for this game of life? What are my personal vows to myself? Okay. Three of Pentacles in the reverse and the energy surrounding you. Somebody's just like not willing to work with you. Again, this is third party energy. Like, I'm just going to say, for a lot of you, I see like sexual energy here where we're giving to something that we know isn't for us. And it could cause destruction with the tower of their choice. There's two signs of third party energy. Okay. Page of Cups in the reverse, the Five of Cups. The Magician in the reverse, Virgo Gemini energy. For most of you, you're just telling me I feel helpless. There's nothing I can do about this situation. I have no control here. Yeah, I can't do anything. Hmm. Queen of Cups. There's a lot of love for this situation. Again, this job position, the company, the people you work with, a partner. But it's um it's very like Romeo and Julie. Romeo, oh my gosh. Mercury retrograde is gonna be <laughs> the end of me. Romeo and Juliet feel, okay, as far as like the stars can never align. The moon, the reverse, the five of pentacles, there's too much pain, hurt, three of pentacles to be on the same page, to work together. Interesting, judgment in the reverse. Death in the reverse, Scorpio energy popping out. It feels like there's, uh, it's undone, like there's something not over. There's no peace, closure. Like my heart is still involved in a situation that ripped it out, you know, like it's the bleeding heart. Hmm. Temperance on the bottom again, death in the reverse, seven of swords. Whatever this was, was your sacred wound, okay? You have to detach and look at it from a bird's eye point of view. Why did this happen? Why did it have to go down this way? Not get so, <laughs> don't take it so personally is what I'm getting, okay? It's all for your growth. Your advice going forward is the Knight of Cups. What is this? An offer. Four of Wands. Five of Wands in the reverse. Eight of Wands in the reverse. I'm kind of getting like something fixes itself or something realigns. Things definitely become more stable. There's something to celebrate here. Eight of Wands in the reverse. King of Wands in the reverse. King of Cups. Yeah. I don't know if this is you or them, but there's somebody here that's talking about, I couldn't do it in the past, but I'm here now. Full cup. Knight of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, I couldn't give you what I can offer you now. Ooh. Oh, is this an X coming back? Be careful. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. The Judgment in the reverse. Two of Wands in the reverse. Be careful. I feel like temptation is coming your way. And it seems very sweet. Like, um, can we try one last time? But I see a lot of stuck energy around it. Any last minute advice for Taurus? And then I'll grab you guys an oracle. Or an affirmation, I mean. The moon in the reverse. Spirit's like, you know what to do. You know what the right answer is. Knight of Cups in the reverse. They're like, don't do that. Don't accept. Don't get involved again. You already learned this lesson. Okay? Um, 
for those of you that were in a third party connection and you cut it off, it doesn't look like it's over. I am the guardian of my happiness. Do you see that? Don't forget that. Okay. I hope that helps Taurus. If you need a personal, hit me up. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.